Scientists have known for some time how important plant steroids called brassinosteroids are for regulating plant growth and development, but until now they did not know how extensive their influence is. Now researchers, including Yu Sun and Ji Yang Wang at Carnegie's Department of Plant Biology, have identified about a thousand brassinosteroid target genes. They reveal molecular links between the steroid and numerous cellular functions and other hormonal and light-activated chain reactions. The study provides the first comprehensive action map for a plant hormone. The research will help accelerate basic plant science and crop research. Steroids are important hormones in animals and plants. Animal cells typically respond to steroids using receptor molecules within the cell nucleus. Unlike animals, plants do not have glands to produce hormones. As a result, each cell has the ability to generate hormones. The receptors in plants, called receptor-like kinases, are anchored to the outside surface of the cell membranes. Research has shown that brassinosteroids are involved in acclimation to environmental stresses, promote cell elongation, and enhance resistance to pathogens, thus increasing plant growth and crop yield. But it has been unclear how one steroid hormone controls so many different processes. The breadth of its role has also been incomplete because its target genes have not been identified until now. The scientists performed a genome-wide analysis of genes that are direct targets of brassinosteroids in the model plant Arabidopsis, which is a relative of the mustard plant. They identified DNA sequences in the genome where a transcription factor resides. A transcription factor is a protein that begins the process of turning a gene on or off. In this case, a protein called BZR1 is the major transcription factor responsible for brassinosteroid regulated gene expression. It acts at the end of a chain reaction triggered by a steroid binding to the receptor called brassinosteroid insensitive 1, or BRI1, at the cell membrane. They were very surprised by the large number of genes involved. Arabidopsis has about 32,000 genes in total, and this hormone appears to be masterminding a lot of different physiological responses. Scientists have observed a wide range of effects of brassinosteroids on plant growth and plant responses to the environment. They have also worked out the molecular chain that passes the signal from cell surface receptor to BZR1 in the nucleus. How this signaling chain controls various growth and physiological behavior and what cellular machinery it controls was unclear. The scientists found that brassinosteroid target genes turn on a wide range of proteins, including cell wall enzymes such as cellulose. It also influences a large number of genes concerned with transporting materials throughout the plant body and organizing the scaffolding that gives cells their shape, as well as other developmental processes. Although brassinosteroids have been known to have a close relationship with several other hormones and light signals, the mechanisms involved with the steroids' interactions with them are not known. The researchers found that BZR1 protein directly controls the activity of many genes involved in plant responses to other hormones and light. The brassinosteroid action map provided in this study shows for the first time that multiple hormonal and light signals are integrated into an extensive network to control plant growth and development. The study was in part supported with grants from the NIH and NSFC. The research is published in the November 16, 2010 issue of Developmental Cell. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.